Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the African Geotechnical Design Challenge. Um, my name is Jacobus Braille, and I am the chairman of the SICE Geotechnical Division, um, which is the Geotechnical Division of the South African Institution of Civil Engineering. Um, I want to say welcome to all the attendees from South Africa, um, both those at the university and those who are members of our society, and also to those from Africa and, and even, even further afield. Welcome to, to this event. Um, this event is being presented by the SIC Geotechnical Division in co collaboration with the Corporate Associates Presiden Presidential Group of the ISSMGE. Um, and it is um, part of a survey that is being run by the Corporate Associate Presidential Group, CAPG Group, um, to see if we are over designing um, as geotechnical, geotechnical engineers. Um, we had to we apologize that we are starting late with the event. We had some technical difficulties in trying to get the other presenter, Dr. Peter Day. Um, we could not get him to join uh, into the into, into to be uh, to also present, um, and so I, I will go through the slides and and pre present the, his his presentation, that we can get the ball rolling. Um, there will be two events as part of this uh, this the, the the challenge. The first is the beginning is this current event where we will share the information, um, and then. There will be a time during which uh, you as the attendees can answer the questions and complete the survey and submit the forms by Google Forms. I'll get to those details a bit later. And then the second event will be on the 10th of September, a follow up event, which during which we will, um, the results will, will briefly be shared and presented um, as feedback. And we are saving the, the, the large feedback of the entire survey, the worldwide survey. That will be uh, at the conference in Sydney uh, next year. Um, I do want to thank uh, the sponsors uh, of this event. At this stage, we have Frankie uh, that is sponsoring the event. Um, thank you for that. The, the sponsorship is both a, a financial contribution that will assist in with the analysis of all the data from the surveys um, and also assistance in presenting some of the, the results um, at the event on the 10th of, of September. Um, for those from South Africa, there will be CPD points available uh, for this event. They are, uh, and the CPD points will be awarded for answering the questions and completing the, 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 the question sheets. Um, there will be 0.2 CPD points per question. Um, and I'll, I'll also explain that in more detail later during the during the presentation. Um, we can start with the presentation, but before I do that, um, at the end of the presentation, there will be an opportunity for questions and answers. Um, you can type in any questions you may have into the chat section on Microsoft Teams, and then at the end of the presentation, we will uh, look through the list of questions that were received and then um, choose, choose, choose a question, question from that list and we will then answer those questions. We may not get to all the, all the questions, um, but I mean, the purpose is to communicate information um, to, to make the server successful and that is why we, we will choose and then answer those questions. Um, so we will start with the, with the presentation. Um, as I mentioned, it's the African Geotechnical Design Challenge presented by the SICE Geotechnical Division um, in co collaboration with the ISSMGE, uh, CAPG. Um, I'll briefly, just the outline, I'll give some background on the event, then present the format of the event. Then I will briefly summarize the soil properties uh, that we will look at when we do the problems um, and then describe the problems and then describe how you can submit your responses to the to, to the survey and then discuss a report back session on the 10th of September and then there'll be a time for questions and answers. First of all, the background. Um, as I mentioned, the Corporate Associates Presidential Group is a, a group of the ISSMGE um, and it was it was established in 2011 by the past, past president, uh, uh, Professor Jean-Louis Briot, um, at a meeting in St. Petersburg in uh, July in 2012. Um, 
it is a board level committee of the ICM, ICMGE and it on the committee there are consultants <coughs> and contractors and researchers and, and, and people from all the different spheres of geotechnical engineering. Um, they work in close collaboration with the, the other technical committees and the young members presidential group, the YMPG. And their focus under and, and the, and the current term is, is to address issues of relevance to geotechnical engineering practice. And the committee is currently being chaired by, by Peter Day and uh, Sakomar Pathmandafo from Australia. I think we, we all we, we saw them both at the conference in, in Cape Town last year. Um, they are different um, corporate associates um, involved in the in the in the corporate associates presidential group. This is a list of all the corporate associates that, that, that are involved with the with the committee. Some more on the next slide. And as I mentioned, the, the current event is at the moment is being sponsored by, by Frankie, uh, which is a killer, a killer company. And there is still opportunity for other of the corporate associates to be involved in sponsoring the event. Um, for we, we, as I mentioned, we would be asking for a financial contribution to assist with the analysis of the data um, for the in preparation for this presentation at, at the Sydney conference. And we would also ask you to assist with, uh, um, uh, you, you can present some of the data even uh, on the 10th of September at the next feedback session. If you are interested, uh, you will get our details on our website at the SICE Geotechnical Division website. And you can contact us and we can then um, uh, arrange for, for, for sponsorship for, 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 the, for the more for, for the event. And as yeah, th thank you to Keller and Frankie for sponsoring the African event. The way the survey was started was during the, the, the board meeting in, in June 2018 in Skopje in Macedonia. Uh, there the question was asked, uh, it actually came from the, the Asian uh, region, and the question was, are we over designing in geotechnical engineering? And that is why the um, CAPG uh, uh, committee then decided to, to start with a survey. And in essence, it is 10 simple design problems that has been put together um, and it involves the analysis of um, spread footings, uh, piles, slopes and retaining walls and it involves both the prediction of the behavior of the of the foundation or the pile, you know, how much will the pile settle, how much will the footing settle and then the design of, 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 the, of, the, um, of, the, of the component. Um, so both the prediction of the behavior and the design of it. And you as the participant can choose any of the 10 problems and to respond to them and answer the questions. Um, you do not have to do all 10. You can do two or four or six on any of them and then submit your answers. The survey is available on the ISSMGE website but we will make it, it's, it's also available on, on our website, the website of the South African uh, Geotechnical Division. Um, I'll give the details later on um, and you can access the, the survey there as well as the forms on which to, to so submit your answers. You can access it over there. Um, the format, uh, as I said, is an online survey of the, from the, of the, of the ICCMGE um, that on, on, the, on their website. And we have the initial meeting, which is today. And then there's a chance for you to submit your, your answers over two weeks. And then the, there'll be a report back, which will be on the 10th of September, uh, not August. The 10th of September will be the report back time. And we can be quite proud as, 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 as uh, African members. Um, this is the, we are the first region, region to roll out this event. Um, and then following on how we do it, the other regions of the ICCMGE we'll see how they can do it you know the americans and the uh, um, the asians and, and and the australians they can they will have they will follow after, after we've done it and 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 we hope to, to receive a good response uh, to the survey um, the problems will be based on two sets of soil profiles uh, one for clay and the other for sand um, and 
then it's everyday geotechnical design problems that will that, that need to be solved. And as I said, both for prediction and uh, for, for design. This is just a summary of the different uh, the, the pictures of what the problems involve. Um, you can see there are four problems dealing with clay, um, a spread footing on clay, a pile in clay, a pile with horizontal load in clay, and also a cutting uh, within a clay. And then in sand, the same range of problems, uh, both, both, uh, a bit more on this footing for sand number three. And then for the retaining structures, there is an embedded uh, cantilever wall, uh, propped, sorry, not, uh, not cantilever, propped uh, um, wall, and then also a soil nail retained structure that, that uh, will need to be designed. So that, those are the questions. So you can, you can pick any of the questions that you like to answer that you are busy with, that, that you do in your current uh, practice regularly, and answer as many of them uh, as you wish. The soil properties. Um, it's real life source data from, from, from two nearby sites. Um, it's not perfect, but typical for what we usually work, work with. Um, very seldomly, we as geotechnical engineers come across uh, information where all the information that we need is there. Uh, we mostly have to work with uh, data where, they are, where, we have, where, where, where we have to exercise judgment and, and decide which parameters to use. Um, and the data presented is, I'm showing it now. This is all available you, on, the, on the ISMG website and also on, on the GeoDiv website, the GeoTingle Division website. You can download all, download all of it there. Um, this, data, this is the data on the clay profile, um, a summary of the laboratory tests. You can see it there uh, being put together. And then there we have the field in situ tests the SPT, CPT, the friction sleeve, um, the pressure meter data, you can see it all there, um, for you, which you can use to, to, to do your assessment on. Um, some, the SIV analysis for the sand profile, that's been given there, the grading curves, that's all there. And then also some uh, SPT tests done on the sand profile, um, it's all given there and some more moisture content on the sand profile. So all this information will be is available um, and you can access it and use it to to, uh, to your, your data. This is the CPT uh, done in the sand. Um, you can see that there. And we are aware that there are uh, problems with the data, uh, but we have to make the best of it as we always do. We're engineers and we um, we, we, we have to design with, with, with what we have here. Some more uh, pressure meter tests. Into all the, the different uh, dollatometer results. And also some um, seismic, seismic tests, some cross hole uh, seismic test results. So that is all the soil properties that are um, which is provided, which which we which you need to um, assess and then do your do your calculations and the design problems for um, the problems themselves. As I mentioned, um, some of them are prediction problems. We have to assess the interpretation of data and methods of analysis. That that is what they want to achieve to see how 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 do practicing engineers what do they do uh, to analyze and 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 how do they interpret the data. And then the other set are, are design problems. Um, to assess the, you know, the safety and reliability of, 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 the, of the structure. Um, so the, these are the outcomes that, that, the, that the committee is looking for to see whether we are over designing uh, uh, or not. So the, the spread footings, there you can see again the, the, the schematics with the information, the founding depth, the width of the footings, um, and you can see uh, it, it, it's all there, what you have to do. For the piles, as I said, three questions on piles, dealing with prediction. How much will it settle and how much will it deflect? And then for the slopes, the, the question is for the slope in sand and the, the slope in clay, what is the, uh, uh, the angle beta uh, to cut to have, have it safely? In, in, the, in, in the question, it is it's given more detail is given uh, as to you know the, the conditions um, is the cutting permanent or not and, and and what's the loading up at the top so more information is given in there 
And then the retaining wall questions, as I said, um, is for design. Um, so those, those are the problems that we have to we solve. Do as many or as few as you wish. Um, it's up to you how many you want to do. And, and what, is, what is important, and I think this is a very important point, um, the, the committee is not interested, or the purpose of the survey is not to see how clever, how clever you are. It is to determine in, uh, in your normal course of your work, in your current practice, um, whether, whether we over design or not. So um, tackle problems and, and, and solve problems that you, that you are familiar with, that you do in your everyday practice. Um, and there's no need to go and spend a week uh, to develop spreadsheets for a, a low deflection curve for a pile. Um, if, if you don't use it regularly, um, then, then you should rather than not answer that question. Of course, you can do it if you want, but, but understand that the purpose of, of the survey uh, is to see what is typically being done in practice. Um, and and th th that is what we, we would like to, 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 to um, receive. Um, as I mentioned, this is now more for the South African uh, attendees. There are uh, 10 questions and there will be two CPD points available for answering each problem. And the way how we've packaged it is for the spread footings. If you answer the questions on spread footings, there will be then 0.6 CPD points. For the piles, also 0.6 CPD points. The slopes, 0.4, because there are two slope questions. And for the retaining walls, also 0.4 because there are two retainable questions and that 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 that, that will, that, that's how the CPD will be packaged for the for the South African uh, attendees or those who belong to the the size the geotechnical division um, the submission of the responses um, the way the, it will be comp completed will be will be through Google Forms that are available uh, to download on on our website um, there will also be a link will be forwarded to you, um, to all the attendees or everyone who RSVP'd for, for this event. We will send a link out uh, by tomorrow that will be to the website and, and to, 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 to where the, the information is. Um, on that link, you will find uh, um, information on the soil properties as well as the survey, as well as, and this is important, the Google Forms, um, which will be used to complete uh, the survey to answer. Um, um, do not, you will see if you if you go to the ISSMGE website, there you will find the answering sheets um, that is shown to be here on, on the right hand side where, where the red cross is given. Um, you will see the um, those sheets are there. Do not submit those sheets as part of this survey. For this survey, you need to use the Google Forms that are available on, on our website. Um, and it, it will, it's all in the same package um, when you click on the link on the website. So just to repeat again, do not use the standard answer sheets that are in the survey on the ISIS NGE NG website and, and in, in the survey questions. Use the answer sheets on the Google Forms. This just makes it easier for us to analyze the data and to, 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 to process the data and um, um, to get it ready. For the for the sitting conference and and for the event on the 10th of September. So so on the left hand side you can see the question, and on the right is the sheet that you should not use. Use the Google form. And here is the link to the survey form. Um, you you can find it there. And we will also load load this presentation um, on the website, so you can then access this link from there. And. Your responses need to be submitted by the 3rd of September. So that gives you about two weeks to complete to, to complete the questions. So responses in by the 3rd of September. And then our report back will be on the 10th of September uh, on, at the same time and the same place. Um, hopefully, uh, and we will sort it out that we don't have the same technical difficulties. So it won't be the same time, it'll, it'll, it'll be a bit earlier. Um, so we'll do it then. Um, and then the, the as, I, as I said earlier, the report back on the 10th will be of a limited nature, um, just to give feedback on what was received. But the, the detailed analysis of the data will be given at the, the 20th uh, International Conference in Sydney next year. 
Um, and that will then also, of course, include the results from all the other regions uh, around the world where they have done, done, done the survey as well. Um, so it's there that the, the corporate associate presidential group will present the data um, to, to, to everyone as, as part of the conference. Um, that is the end of, of the presentation. Um, I will now close my screen and then we will go to, to see the questions to see if there are any questions that we that, that were posted. And I have I've got Peter Day also on the line uh, via telephone um, uh, to, to see if there are any questions um, that we can answer. I do not see any any questions yet. If you have any questions, go to the the chat function on um, Microsoft Teams for for this meeting, and just type the question in there. You could is? Yes, uh, oh, I see now. Okay. Yeah. There is a question here. Um, the question is, are we supposed to solve the problems by hand or can we use commercial software? The answer is um, uh, you can use the measures that you use. Uh, uh, Bridge, should I repeat the question? Could the people hear you? That, that's right. They could hear me. Um, so I've, I've published the question, but you can repeat if you want. OK, um, so so the, uh, the, there's a question. Can people use there's a question? Can can people use um, uh, must the question be solved by hand or yes, Peter? The um, questions do not go. OK, sorry for that. The um, you do not need to use your you, you can use hand calculation if you want, um, but the, the purpose is to use if you use commercial software every day, then that's what you can use to solve the questions. Um, the, the purpose is to get to the answer in the way that you would do it in your practice. So if you do hand calculations, that's what, that's what you can use. If you use uh, software, that's what that's what you must you, you must use. Um, on the forms, I think there will be a, a place where you where you must indicate how you solved the question and how you analyzed it. Um, that's part of the survey. Uh, but you can use um, any method you want. The, again, the purpose is to use the method that you use regularly um, as part of, of, your, of, of your practice, because that is that is the purpose of the survey. Um, there's another question. Um, OK. If you have more questions. Oh, yes, there's a question that says, um, are the submissions anonymous? Um, for the purposes of the survey, yes, the questions will be um, anonymous. Um, the when when the when the um, when the results are analyzed, um, no account will be taken of who answered them or what the person is. Um, however, for the South African members, if you want to receive CPD points, you will have to include your name on your submission form. There's a space on the form where you can fill in your name. You must include your name if you want to to receive CPD points. Um, it's just for us to have record that you submitted the form. Um, and but we have an undertaking from the from uh, Dr. Day that um, your name will not be taken into account further. So please do not let the, the, the fact of that you have to put your name for CPD points uh, deter you from participating in the survey. Put your name on. Um, your name will only be used for reference purposes for CPD for the South, the South African members. Um, and further on, your name will not be will not be looked at. Um, it, it will be it will be treated as, as confidential. So um, that's that question answered. Um, 
there's a question here from uh, Ask. I'm not sure if I missed it. Um, is there a water table specification on the questions? Uh, let me just ask that to, to Peter. Um, Peter, can you hear me? Peter, can you hear me? OK, there is um, the question about the water table. We will in the email that will go out tomorrow. We will make sure that we answer that. Um, in I, I can't get hold of Peter now. We will make sure we answer that in the email that will go out tomorrow with the invite. Yes. Um, OK. Ah. Uh -huh. OK, uh, about the water table question I just heard from from Peter. Um, the water table is given in the profile description, so there is no there's no water table shown on the on the on the, the problems where the where the footings uh, and the piles are. The water table is given in as part of the soil property description in both cases for both for sand and for clay is at about six meters deep, but 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 look at the properties given. You'll find it there. Um, then there's another question, Peter. Um, assuming we are using limit states um, as, as SANS method design approach. And I think the answer is, um, let me just check it with Peter Day. Uh, Peter, uh, yeah, they, they can use limit state um, or whichever, uh, uh, or, or um, the typical working load design. That can be indicated on the, um, on the form as well, Peter, is that correct? Just hold on. Okay, I can't. I, I cannot get hold of Peter now. Um, you can use the 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 code that you use currently. Okay, um, there is space on the form. Um, to say which, which method you have used to do the analysis. Um, so, so whether it's limit states or whether it's uh, a, more of a, a working load a design or, or load resistance factor design, um, you can say on the form what, what you've used. And even if you've used Eurocode, you can say that you've used Eurocode to do the, the analysis. Um, another question is, um, even if a person is not working in the design part on a daily basis, is it necessary uh, to participate? Um, it is up to you if you want to participate in the question in, 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 in the survey. Um, um, we would encourage you that if you work on these problems on a daily basis to, to, to do complete the survey, um, get the CPD points um, and then and provide the input for, for, for the survey. OK. I don't see any further questions. In that case. Then we will we will close the meeting. So tomorrow morning we will send out uh, an email to all the attendees with the information and then you can um, you will find all the information on the uh, on, on, the link will be with the will be in the email will be in the email um, and then we see you again on the 10th of, of September um, enjoy the problems enjoy solving them thank you very much bye bye <laughs>